Hi everyone, it's Calculus by Christy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 1 at x equals 3 using the limit definition of derivative. Now I know there are several ways to go about solving a problem like this, but in this specific video we are going to use the limit definition of derivative and specifically this limit definition. So let's go back to the original problem. When it says to find the slope of the tangent line, that really means to find the derivative, a big topic in calculus, because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. And like I said, we're going to use this limit definition of derivative. So essentially we are finding f prime of three, because we are finding the derivative at the x value of 3. And the limit definition of derivative tells us that the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x minus f of c, in our case 3, all divided by x minus 3 will give us the derivative of this function at the x value of 3. Now we just need to plug in our information. Now we need to make sure to keep the limit notation here. And then we first have f of x. And our function is x squared plus 6x plus 1. Now we are going to subtract f of 3. And that means we are going to evaluate this function at the x value of 3. Now one of the biggest mistakes I see students make is they don't su subtract the entire f of 3. So we need to make sure to subtract, and then I like to put this in parentheses. So 3 squared plus 6 times 3 plus 1. And you can see there we are now subtracting f of 3. This will all be divided by x minus 3. All right, everyone, let's do some simplifying. The limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 6x plus 1 minus, let's see, that'd be 9 plus 18, 27 plus 1. All right, 28 all over x minus 3. Let's go ahead and simplify the numerator. We have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 6x minus 27. And now we need to evaluate this limit. If you'd like to watch another video about limits and how to evaluate limits using factoring, which is the method that we're going to use, click here to see that video. I'm going to come all the way over here where I have some space, and let's go ahead and factor that trinomial in the numerator. Let's see, this would factor into x plus 9, x minus 3, all over x minus 3. And by the way, the reason I didn't go ahead and directly substitute in 3 is because I already saw that that would give me a 0 in the denominator. And this looks great because now I can cancel out that factor of x minus 3 to leave me with the limit as x approaches 3, of x plus 9, and now I can directly substitute. So if I directly substitute 3 in for x, 3 plus 9 gives me a final answer of 12. And what we have found is if you graph this function f of x at the x value of 3, you will find that the slope is 12. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this would look like on a graph. I have typed the function into Desmos, and here is our original function, x squared plus 6x plus 1. And if we are to look at the x value of 3, which I'm going to have to kind of scroll up here, right here at the x value of 3, if I were to draw in a tangent line, which means the line only comes and touches the graph at one point, the slope of that line would be a value of 12. I hope you found this video useful in helping you find the slope of the tangent line to a function using the limit definition of derivative. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can see weekly math videos.